My life before cancer was pretty carefree. I've always been that way. Working and loving my dog and hanging out with my friends and nothing is ever gonna happen. And that's kind of how I, not I didn't think that, but you never think it's gonna happen to you. And January 24th, I get the call and, and I'm sitting on my couch by myself and I'm talking to the doctor because it was less than 24 hours later. So I didn't think anything of it. And I was like, hey doc, what's up? And he's like, kid, I have to stop you. And I'm like, what is it? And he's like, you have cancer. And he told me I do have stage four metastatic breast cancer. So I have a tumor on my right hip and one on my L2 spine as well. I didn't really know what to think or how to proceed. You hang up that phone and you're kind of like, how do I tell my parents? And that, honestly, that's the only time I got semi-tearful was when I had to call my parents. You know, just trying to figure out like where to go from here. At the beginning, it was really weird being the cancer girl because that's kind of how I saw myself and I was a very outgoing person and I was still outgoing, but I wasn't going out. I was, I was staying in my house. I was kind of trying to figure out what do I do with myself? Like, who am I now? And I didn't realize that that's what I was doing, but it was. And gradually I started dipping my toe in, going out a little bit and I have a group chat of all my girlfriends and I'm like, hey, what would you think about me having a party? I was thinking of calling it Tata to my Tatas. And they were like, let's do it. I'm like, all right. So I put it on Facebook. A couple people shared it. Then more people shared it. And I was in shock. There, there had to be hundreds of people there. I have prayed for direction in my life for many years and believe that this is the journey that I'm meant to be on. I'm choosing to make the best of this and to also make every effort to help others along the way. I would like to read something to all of you that motivates me to be a better person. I read a poem at the party called The Dash and it basically just tells you to live your life. You're given your birthday and then your death day and in between those two is a dash. And what are you doing with that dash? Like nobody ever thinks about that when they look at your tombstone. But that's what's the most important, not those other two. So you gotta work on that dash and just make sure you live every moment. I want to use this to educate as many people as I can on metastatic breast cancer because there's not a lot of discussion on it. It's kind of how I'm choosing to live my life and just help other people at this point. Working on my dash every day. <laughs>